for the structure is very simple here the interactive questions works like this the teacher or the student will click on the question mark there and a question will appear in this case you can see it says what's the name of the long bone in the upper arm students have some time to think about this and then when they're ready to give their answer they will give their answer and they will check their answer by pressing the A and the answer to this one is humorous click on it again and it disappears we click on the question it disappears so that's the very simple simple structure of how interactive questions work in PowerPoint we need to be asking ourselves the question when we would use them and why we would use them but let's dive in and look at how we create these interactive questions there are two things we need to think about when we're building out this interactive question slide the first is the look and feel how it actually going to be presented to the students and also of course the mechanics of what goes on behind the scenes in order for this to work so this first part of the video is going to look at our look and feel of how we actually create the slide um, the best way I think to do this is to uh, when you're in the home tab up in the ribbon there is to go to new slide click on new slide and then you've got a whole series of different slides you can choose from and incidentally you can see that all of mine have this blue rectangle in them already I'll just quickly show you how I did that and why I did it so if you go to view and you go to slide master this is where you can uh, populate your slides you can create your slides so that it saves a huge amount of time uh, when you're actually creating the slides as we are doing now if you want to have a continuous look and feel to your slides when you're making them this is the way to do it so you're going to go to uh, view into slide master and then you can do whatever you want to with your slides and you they will appear in each of your slides when you create a new slide um, I've also put a little watermark down there at PE Tutor down on the right you can just about see that and that will come through uh, when we uh, look at the slide just now so closing that you can see there's PE Tutor there but if I go to new slide and create a blank you can see that this blue rectangle is already uh, there by default PE Tutor's down there as well so the first thing I want to do is pick up the background and I just go on to the canvas anywhere onto the slide right click on a mouse format background and then over here on the right I'm just going to change the color now this time I know that I'm going for dark blue obviously there's a huge color palette here that you can choose from and we'll look uh, in more videos in detail about how we can uh, work with color because there's huge amounts of things that we can do beyond just looking at these uh, squares here I'm going to click blue dark blue and now we've got our background in place I already populated the white border there with this lighter blue rectangle so we're beginning to get there which is great so the next thing I want to do is put my word uh, box in here or my text box in here for interactive questions so again I'm coming back here go to insert go into text box there and to start with it doesn't actually matter where you put it on the canvas on the slide we'll just re reposition that in due course it doesn't matter what the font looks like initially so what I tend to do is think about the size and the font that I want um, and then I will play with how it looks and I'll move things around so I might go for what have we got there 36 that's fine and because I don't like black uh, anyway really but also it doesn't fit in with my color scheme here I'm going to change it to white because we've got some white here and white down here so that seems to tends to work then to gr drag your or to move your text box you need to go uh, to the top there when you get the crosshair and then just drag it to wherever you want it to go next I want to bring in this icon here so I was looking for an icon which depict uh, some kind of interaction or questions and uh, there are many ways again in which we can find icons and images and there will be plenty more videos on how to do that in this case uh, the first bet I would recommend is to go to the built-in icons already in PowerPoint so again we go to ins insert across to the icons and then let's type in question and see what we get and there we have it so there's my question that's the icon that I wanted so I'm going to select that one insert and then by default it will appear and it will be black and that's absolutely fine to start with we can reshape it we can reposition it by clicking uh, left clicking on the mouse and just dragging it anywhere we want it to go so I'm repositioning it somewhere up here and now I want to change the color so the way I do that I double click on it and you can see up here in the ribbon I've got format 
so I can now go to graphic fill up here and then I've got all sorts of different colors that I can play with and you can see if I just mouse over how the graphic is changing so it could be a dark green there it could be orange etc but in this case I think I wanted it to be that one uh, blue accent one and that I think is the same yeah that's the same as before and so that's a way in which you can change colors now I'm going to also show you something else as well about making sure you have consistency with your coloring to keep with your branding so we can go to format again and graphic fill as we just did and we can choose these standard colors but what we can also use is the eyedropper fill and this is a great little tip because it allows us to maintain our branding it allows us to maintain consistency with the colors on our slide so if we just click on the eyedropper and then I can now move anywhere around to pick up a color that I want to change these to so it could be um, that I want these colors to be this dark blue and I literally just put the pipette over uh, that color click on it and then you can see that that automatically changes and that's got that consistency there it's quite bold isn't it so one of the things I also would um, recommend that you get into the habit of doing is checking to see what it will look like uh, when it's completed so go down to the bottom there to slideshow click on slideshow and you can see that that's what it will look like when we're um, presenting when the students are using the slide for me that's a little bit bold so I'm going to go back and uh, change it to uh, as it was before so I'm going up to the top on the left there to undo fill color and then there we are now in the next video we will look at how we build out the icons here for the question and for the answer and then we'll look at how we put the interactions in so that we get these text box appearing and disappearing on these clicks join me in the next video to find out how to do that